Hi folks, welcome to our next newest video. Here's our visit to Natal Reservoir Ashton Underline. Here's an old map which shows you the, uh, the course that you have to walk when you walk around Natal Reservoir. Hello and welcome again. So this is a very nice place to come and it's got loads of nature and loads of rocks. Now if we come down this way I'll show you some more. As you may see, if you come to the site, you might see loads of trees. So, it's real nice to come here. Now, you might think it's a massive walking, you know, you might not be able to do it, but it's not actually that quite long. So, come on. On your left, loads of branches, just little ones like this. And you can see on your left again, wood chips. The animals will be nesting in that, the nice place for them. And as you come, to, as you come up here, you can see the gates. Now it's a very old wall there. And if you come over this side, if you see over there, there'll be golf people and there'll be people playing golf. So you've got to beware of flying golf balls. So, what's that mud? A lot of mud around here. But get out of the mud, Lou. Now if you walk over this way, Very old walls with moss growing on it. So, as you do know, if you want to be prosecuted, don't bring your dog here. Just bring, you can bring your dog, but bring some bags. Come on, come on this way. So, come this way. Very nice. And look at, come down here. Come look down. Let's look down here. It's almost like a circle shaped in the middle of paths that go two ways. So one path is where you come up, and one path is where you go down. And if you see down here, we just come. See? Very nice. Loads of leaves, and they were just looking for a day out just to be like relaxed and not hesitated by other people. And just come here, it's very friendly. People do say hello to you, and there's a lot of dogs running around, but it's very nice. So, if you look over there, there's another wall, an old wall, um, and a grand tree, and some barbed wire. So down here, big tree sloping down, very nice, it's super up there, there's a bird up there, just zoom in mum, there's a bird up there, the black one, can you see it, if we can't, it doesn't matter, it's a black bird, right, come this way, so we get over here is where the golfers play, now the very very territorial oh, the territorial thing and so they put walls up. Well a fence, a fence. Very very nice. Territorial. Yeah, that's the word. Um So we come across this rabbit time thing. So come up. Now depending of what time of year you come here now this is things so things are just starting to blossom and it's really nice it's quite warm actually but if you come in summer like you won't be able to see most things so the trees will be overgrown and what's from there take goodbye now bye 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 i'll see you next 
Okay, so this is a trail going round Not Hill Reservoir and it's quite a long trail really, it's 2.4 miles I think. Not Hill Reservoir isn't very old to be honest, it's it's quite a new reservoir um, when you're talking about reservoir dates. And it was recorded in a project called the Doomsday Reloaded Project and it was recorded as being built a new reservoir was built in 1981 to June 1983. I think the original reservoir was built in 1930 something, 34, 36. The new reservoir um, take, took the wa takes the water instead of being over on oh, above ground into underground, and it holds 35 million liters of water, and it costs 2.5 million pounds to build. It's cheaper to maintain like this because there's no pollution coming from outside. So it's really quite more cost it's cost effective. As a result, this reservoir wasn't needed. And it was left to ruin really until the 1980s when it was left to the council to decide what they wanted to do with it. So Thames Head NBC took up the call and they made it into a nature reserve and that is working out really well at the moment. Okay folks, here's where the reservoir was, part of the reservoir and if you actually look down there you can see parts of some piping and tubing that was used. That is a, that is still in use actually, I'm not sure where that water drains to, it could be underground, I really don't know. And I'm sure local historians will tell me and correct me about everything that I say that is wrong. I like throwing blocks into it, look at this. Okay, so we'll carry on the walk up the footpath um, and take a look down. That's where the water would have been levelish to about. So it's so quick how nature has taken over in a considerably short amount of time. This part is pretty easy going on the feet. It's not too hard. And there's that pipe that I told you about. A nice stone. Okay, so this is the site of the old reservoir and as you can see it's quite small now. There's a bench that was that was that has been destroyed sadly. If you can see look around you, nature's tried to take over and but you can see there's a lot of walkers go out here. There's my daughter, hello. So she's looking out over as to what would would have been the old reservoir. It's really peaceful there and you can hear lots and lots of different types of birds singing. It's a perfect place for bird watching friends.
Here's a photograph of the old reservoir and as you can see it's certainly very different. There's one of those pipes that you can see um, that's disused now. I'm really fascinated by disused pipes and tunnels and things like that. Go. Two teenagers drowned at Not Hill Reservoir. Lee Flanagan, 17, and Craig Finn, 18, are thought to have become tangled under growth in the water when they went to, to a far swim while fishing. A water passing Matter Reservoir in the stream line raised the alarm of the sea and all the water to disappear. Here is their memorial. Okay, so I think this is not Hill Farm. Um, it was disused for a while, but now it is in good use. And I'm not sure who the owner is at the moment, but they seem to have a good collection of ducks and and chickens. I don't know whether they've got any geese. There is where the water level would have been again. So you can imagine how precarious it was around there. So you carry on the path round and you do sort of like go in a circle -ish type shape. I'm not sure whether a fox or... I've got the duck there. It's rather sad if it has it. The farmer actually told me that the fox had had a few of their ducks this year. There's a map. So all those points into the map. Warning true. people to keep out of the water because of the tragedy. Quite understandably so. You can see a lot of wildlife if you spend the time to sit around and listen and look. And this time of year is a perfect time of the year to do so. There's the steps leading up to the farm, but also you can there's a shortcut there to Hartstead Pike if you would so like. Sunday, twenty eighth of August, of August, two thousand twelve. A witness spotted a light coming from the grounds close to the gate. When they investigated, they saw four interlinking windows, though which normal looking people could be seen in moving around the long walkway. One of the windows were open. From which the man's face appeared and said, "You're not supposed to be here. Go home." The witness fled, t fled, terrified. Although they returned later in the day and found nothing but piles of dirt. So that's interesting. A little ghost story. Um, that's probably a very old ghost story, and I found that on the internet. I don't know whether it's true, whether it isn't, but it's certainly very interesting. Again, we're walking around the lake. You can stop the video and read these things if you want to. I think that was to, to stop and start the flow of water. I'm not sure. Somebody can correct me on that. Okay, that's obviously still in use and still probably going underground, I think, judging by the direction. Like I said previously, there's a lot of water underground. I think about these old grills, you know, that's a new grill over an old tunnel, which is quite interesting. You can hear all types of birds here, it's really, really nice to hear. And there's some shots that I took of the golfers. Watch your heads, folks.
I remember this bench being constructed when I was a child and look at it now. All my children have seen and sat on this bench and as I did. It's Tallulah's favourite bridge. And it's lovely to see nature taking over. And here's a view of an hotel reservoir when it was in use from Hartshead, Mosley Road area. And thank you for watching my video. It's not perfect, but there again, I'm not perfect. So please enjoy and share.